pumpkin pie. Bluebirds sing, buttermilk sky. Hey diddle, dumpkin, cat and mouse. Once upon a coffee house. Once a little cat came to town, saw the sights and looked around. He spied a shapely, pretty little mouse and followed her straight to the coffee house. The mouse sang songs and played guitar. The cat, he watched her from afar. Wishing there with all his might He were the guitar she held each night Hey diddle dumpkin, pumpkin pie Bluebirds sing, buttermilk sky Hey diddle dumpkin, cat and mouse Once upon a coffee house Night by chance she smiled at him The strings of his heart went bim, bam, bim He knew he was love and me, oh my you should have been there to see the fur fly. Now if you go to the coffee house, be sure to see this cat and mouse making the big love scene duet. They draw me, oh, and Juliet. Hey, diddle, Duncan, pumpkin pie. Bluebirds sing, buttermilk sky. Hey, diddle, Duncan, cat and mouse. Once upon a Debbie, show Mr. Peabody to his table. Yes, Mr. Humphrey. Debbie, put this with the rest of Mr. Peabody's paintings on ice. watching the show. Well, did you make the pitch? Don't panic, old boy. I'll pop the question when the time is right. Well, there's no time righter than right now. Don't panic. If we don't pay Mama four weeks back rent tonight, she's going to throw us out on our assets. Cider. Hot or cold? Cold? Put an olive in it. <laughs> now, let me explain in more simple language. This cat, John, has flipped over to his chick, Vicky, right? Right. Every week he spends a fortune to fly down from New York just to drool over her. But he doesn't make out, right? Right. Now, let's get this picture in focus. Don't you think a rich cat like this might just buy our establishment just to be the boss man? 
and have Vicky work for him? Yeah. And Vicky loves to wail here. Right. Like she needs the loot. Right again. So she's gonna come on strong for the boss man. By Jove, I think you've got it. And now, boys and girls, the lady from Bryn Mawr, the one and only Miss Vicki Shaw. When I was a young girl, my shoes were black. I walked to school and I walked back And my young love walked beside me When I wore shoes of black To allure, to arrive, a time to love bride my shoes were white we sang love songs into the night and my young love Great, the crowd loved it. It's a wonder they could hear it with the racket you were making. I'm sorry, I got here a little late. Now, the moment Again. that we've all been waiting huh? for, the star of the show, a great balladeer, Larry Dennis. Down, 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 down to the bottom of the sea. Said, drop a pebble in the ocean. Drop a pebble in the sea. And it goes down, 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 down to the bottom of the sea. Said, drop a pebble in the ocean. Drop a pebble in the sea
the bottom of the sea. There at the bottom, it lies forgotten. Evermore to rise again. Drop a pebble in the ocean. Drop a pebble in the sea. And it goes down, down, down. Down, down, down. Down to the bottom of the sea. Said if you're weary and heavy late, Burden down with grief and care. Now drop your burden down in the ocean. Drop it down to the bottom of the sea. Then it lies forgotten. Nevermore to rise again. Drop a pebble down in the ocean. Drop a pebble down in the sea. I think Vicky's singing with them. She'll sing again later. Come on, sit down, sit down. But it's my favorite song. You've heard it before. I had a dog and his name was Blue. He was a good dog, sweet and true. Every time he heard me wail, He'd come a running, a wagging his tail. Come on, Blue, you good dog, you. Come on, Blue, you good dog, you. Old Blue died, and he died so hard. Shook the ground. My backyard dug his grave with a golden spade, lowered him down with a silver chain, crying blue, you good dog, you so long blue. When I get to heaven, first thing I'll do, I'll get a horn and call for blue. When I get to heaven, first thing I'll do, I'll get a horn and call for blue. All in blue, you good dog, you. Come on, blue. I'm a coming. score with Vicky. I can do it. I'm listening. Johnny boy, I like you. And I want you to look up on me as your friend, your benefactor. Believe me, when I make you this proposition, there are absolutely no selfish motives behind it. How much? Oh, now that, that, that hurts me. That's, that's like a knife between the shoulder blades. I'm sorry. Now, what's your proposition? You should buy the coffee house. Buy the coffee house? Yes. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Here you are. 
Don't look now, but you just acquired all my chattel possessions. Congratulations. For $15,000, it's a steal. Vicki? Yes? I want you to meet your new boss. You're kidding. Well, congratulations, boss. Thank you. Vicki, you're on. Oh, I'm coming. Excuse me? One thing, boss or no boss, please don't interrupt my set. Promise? I promise. Things are looking better already. It's a gas. Cool, Daddy-o? On yonder farm, On yonder farm. there lived a maid. A pretty maid, so sweet and pure, so sweet and pure. till a farmer's boy came around one day, kissed the maid and took her love and ran away. And now she cries, 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 buckets up, tears, buckets and buckets, buckets up, tears. And now she cries, 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 buckets up, tears, though she gave her love to the man who ran away. Dried her eyes, she dried her eyes and cried no more. And cried no more. She said with love, said with love I'm, through I'm through for sure. Till a traveling man came around one morning, kissed the maid again, and then he traveled on. And now she cries, 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 buckets up tears, buckets and buckets, buckets up tears. And now she cries, 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 buckets up tears. For she gave her love to the man who ran away. For she gave her love to the man who ran away. Well, Johnny boy, it's all yours. You're the boss now. Thanks. Oh, it's nothing. But. Let me show you the piece de resistance. I'm throwing this in for good measure. Voila! What is it? It's an espresso machine. Well, it certainly is unusual looking. Unusual and unique. I acquired it from a grand duchess in Amalfi. You have acquired yourself a gold mine. Believe me, your loss is my gain. What will Mother say? Hello. Hello, Mother. Oh, hello, dear. Where are you? In Florida, Mother. A uh, Palm Beach. No, uh, Miami, Mother. I'm taking a vacation. I won't be home for a couple of weeks. Well, uh, uh, that's fine, dear. How are you spending your time? Sunning yourself? Well, not exactly. You see, I've bought a new business. What kind of business, Jonathan? Well, well, it's, uh, it's rather colorful. What kind of business? Brace yourself, Mother. I've bought a coffee house. Mother? What did I tell you? It's just great, Humphrey. And these people are all your friends. They'll be here every night. Great. Say, I want you to hear a wonderful new act, Jim, Joan, and Jake. Yes, I know. I brought them down from New York. Yeah, splendid, splendid. News, 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 news,
Bradley Brinkley Lowell Thomas Radio BBC What's in the news today? What's in the news today? What's in the news today? Here are some of the items you would have read about if you had read your papers. Today, the American Dental Association gave one of their highest awards to a young lady from Flint, Michigan, who courageously took part in one of their oral hygiene programs. Let us now go to Flint for more. This is Bob Floyd speaking to you from Flint, Michigan. I'm talking with young Betty Johnson here. Uh, Betty's class was divided into two groups, one brushed with crest, the other used another leading dentifrist. Uh, Betty, would you mind telling us the results of these tests? My group had 79% more cavities. Uh -huh. <laughs> and, and you weren't one of the lucky crest users. No. Uh, tell me this, what did you learn from these extensive tests? How to suffer. <laughs> uh, just how many cavities were there in your group? All together? Yeah. All 12 of us had 1,119 cavities. 1,119 <laughs> cavities, ladies and gentlemen. I have 211 myself. Yeah. Now that's proof In my uppers. <laughs> I don't have any lowers. They went the first week of the test. That is terrible. No, no, it's the best thing that ever happened to me because we were such a good control group, they came back to my high school and they redivided us up for a whole new series of tests. Yeah. And I'm in the group of girls that does not take the pills. <laughs> <laughs> America's space program is constantly on the move, up we hope. And to find out the inside story on what's really happening down there at Cape Kennedy, we take you directly there. Shazam! Hi, I'm Red Tro Rocket here at Cape Kennedy interviewing Professor Werner Amadeus von Heil. Thank you, and I want to say that working down here at the Cape with all the other patriotic scientists makes me proud to be an American. <laughs> 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 Professor, if a nuclear war was imminent, what would be your first thoughts? My first thoughts would be of the protection of my family. That's oh, right. That's wonderful. They're with you at the Cape, aren't they, sir? No, they're all living with Grandma now. Oh. In Argentina, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> She's got a little mustache. Nobody recognizes her. Everything's cool. You know what I mean? But let us face it. Let us face it. Let us face it. Face it, war is hell! <laughs> yes, it is. I should realize it better than anyone. Oh? I lost 11 loved ones. In the war, Professor? No, in the trials, the trials. I got my cousin, my uncle, my aunt. And now you've heard the latest news, and it's time for the weather report. And for today's latest readings, we take you to New York and Central Park. Hi, everybody. Here we are in New York with a thermometer read 66. That was the news today. 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 Beep, 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 Marvelous, weren't they? Wonderful. Care for some cider? Why, thank you. 
Coming through. Hi. Standing room only. Yes. Now, if they were paying customers, you'd be in business. What are you doing after the party tonight? I don't know yet. Would you care to have breakfast with me? Well, I don't know what the others are doing. How about lunch tomorrow? Two ciders, please. Now, that's what I call service. Thanks. Well, how about lunch tomorrow? I won't take no for an answer. Here's your cider, Vicky. Well, what do you say? Well, thank you. No, I mean about lunch tomorrow. Thanks. Hey, Vicky, I want you to meet some kids from the village. Excuse me. Mr. Peabody? Mr. Peabody? Yes? Madge Cartwright. Madge Cartwright. What can I do for you, Miss Cartwright? I'd like to hang one of my paintings in the coffee house. Have you sell it for me? Well, all right. Perfect place for it, that wall over there. Just the right atmosphere. I know you'll sell it. My card? I'll be back with the painting at the end of the week. You'll love it. Bye-bye. <laughs> Hey, if you keep it all down, some friends of mine have just come in from New York with their guitars. And if you keep it quiet enough, they'll do their latest hit for you. Okay? The Free Wheelers. I'm gonna take a tiny seed. I'm gonna take a tiny little seed of love. I'm gonna plant that seed of love everywhere that I see thee and watch it grow to a tree of love. I'm gonna tend that little seed. I'm gonna tend that little seed. I'm gonna tend that little seed with love and care. All you got words to stay will help it on this way. little trivialities. Cider, ice cream, coffee, decorations, publicity, and uh, my expenses. What did we take in? Well, everyone was invited. But they'll be back. You've made friends, and they give the place atmosphere. Boss, boss, the espresso machine. Mr. Peabody is the boss now. What is it, Pepe? The espresso machine is going local. Come with me. What's wrong with it, Pepe? Look, boss. It's local. 
I thought you said it was unique. It is. It does everything except make coffee. Humphrey? Sorry about that. You want me to lock up, boss? No, I'll take care of it. What's the matter, boss? Something wrong? You don't look happy. Where do they all go, Pepe? Who, boss? The gang, Larry, all the boys and girls. Oh, tonight we have a beach party. Where? Oh, a little private beach. We have a ball. Tonight we celebrate the San Juan night. You want to come? No, thank you, Pepe. <laughs> oh, that's Debbie. She's crazy about beach parties because I have a chance to sing tonight. Come on, boss. Oh, well, good. You like it? I'll take a rain check, Peppy. Turn out the lights when you leave, please. Good night. Good night, Peppy.
Hi, Debbie. Peppy, I brought the girls to hear your new song. Oh, you guys want to hear my new song? You start it, then I sing. Get your foot over it. Back up. 
The hands have to soak for a while. the other day. It's kind of an old-time spiritual type number, and uh, I was looking it over for the past couple of days, and I, I think we, we should really do something with it. Uh, you want to take a it's look a at it? No, not another there, one. There are about five sheets here. I think we'll pass them around to the group. Maybe we can get it. Slow me down, Lord. Slow me down, Lord, right here. Here, let me take a couple over. All right. Let's here. see. Let me take a look on that one. I think you ought to take the lead in it. Why don't we uh, move it up to the key of F? It's a little low, right? Can you girls hit F? Fine. How's that one? It's a little bit crazy. Goes kind of like this. I'll run through it once and then we can. All right, yeah, just get it. Just give me a little bit. Slow me down, slow me down, slow me down, Lord. Slow me down, Lord. I'm traveling too fast. Don't know my brother, Lord, when he goes past. Slow me down, Lord. I'm traveling too fast. Oh, okay. yeah. this is good. Let's start it right there slow and build it up a little bit. Go ahead, your song. We get it faster and faster. Let's really rock it out in the end. And let's add tambourine, because that's the only thing I can play. Me too. All right, let's see here. Okay. <clears throat> One, two, three. One, two, three. Slow me down, slow me down, slow me down, boy. Slow me down, boy. I'm traveling.
Not bad. Thanks. Sit down. You wanted to see me? Yeah, man. Like, I'm still hung up, and it's bad news. Bad news? Yeah, man, like, I'm not scoring with Vicky. Like, I'm nowhere's man, and it bugs me. Well, at least your vocabulary is improving. All right, what do we do? Well, the problem is, old boy, the gang goes out en masse. Wherever Larry goes, they go. Whatever Larry does, they do. And they all do it together. So, like, if you can't beat them, join them? I told you it was group therapy. First, you had to look like the group. Now, you have to act like the group. In short, man, if you want Vicky, you have to join the group. So saddle up your horse, cowboy. You going riding. Riding? What's the matter, old boy? You got a headache? Quite the reverse, thank you. I brought you some equipment. Not me, I've had it. But the clan's going skin diving tonight. What's with all this outdoor activity? Don't they dig any indoor sports like post office or something? Well, there's, uh, there's guitar practice and uh, guitar. The guitar. A few guitar lessons ought to do the trick. Not even if uh, Vicky were the teacher. Private lessons. Hmm. Down, boy, down. Cool it. <laughs> teacher. Nice boat. Thank you. Do you play at all? The guitar, I mean. No. Then why this sudden urge to learn? I'm mad about the guitar. I'm compulsive. My fee is three dollars for a half hour lesson and five dollars for an hour lesson. I'll take four hours a day. Don't you think you'll be a little bored? Never. Well, then, let's start from the very beginning. Sit down. Now, this is the neck. A little longer and slightly slimmer than the standard. Gorgeous. As you can see, the shoulders are a little unusual, too. Beautiful. I had this custom made. Made and specially designed by a little old man in the hills of Tennessee. I forget what you call the wood. Look at that back. See how smooth it is? Here, feel it. Go on, feel it. Mmm, smooth. It's smooth, all right. Here, let's see how it looks on you. Come on, take it. Oh, come on. Don't hold it like that. Loosen up. Loosen up the fingers on the neck. Gently. Oh, darling. Your neck is so slender. And your lovely back, so smooth. <laughs> so shiny. <laughs> You want a cold drink? Why, yes, please. What are we celebrating? Well, my first guitar lesson, of course.
giving your teacher champagne in the afternoon. But you're a very good teacher. It's getting warm. Can we take a swim from the side of the boat? Great. I've got some swimsuits. Here they are. I don't need any. Last one in gets no dessert.
Man, who painted it? I don't know. Look at the bottom. I am. But who painted it? Larry, you're on. Okay, boss. I saw the sky fall down today. I saw the sky fall down today. I saw the sky fall down when my baby walked away. Why'd you go and leave me? Why did you walk away? Why'd you go and leave me? Why did you walk away? I beg you, please, please don't go. I beg you, please, baby, please don't. You know I love you so, but you just turned and walked away. And the sky fell down today. Why'd you go and leave me? Why did you walk away? Why'd you go and leave me? Why did you walk away? I saw a bird who couldn't sing. I saw a bird who couldn't sing. I saw a bird who couldn't sing or spread his wings and fly away because the sky fell down today. I said, why'd you go and leave me? Why did you walk away? Why'd you go and leave me and make the sky fall down today? Take it down or get yourself a new boy. I'll have it taken down. Don't you dare. But don't you want me to have it taken down? You think I posed for it, too. I'm going home. Vicky. If you take that picture down, I'm quitting. Vicky.
I think we're going to run out of food tonight. The coachmen are almost finished. Oscar Brand is next. And all you can talk about is food. I'm only thinking about the hungry customers. It was a good thing I told Mama Angelina to keep the pizzas coming. Thank you. Thank you. What can I say? It's a privilege to present Oscar Brand. Oh. Did you buy that here? You know, the world has long been looking for something to cure all of its ills. Nowadays, there's Dianetics, Psychiatry. Once upon a time in Ireland, there was nothing but cod liver oil. I'm a young married man that is tired in life. Nine years I was wed to a sickly wife. She did nothing all day but sit home and sigh, wishing to the Lord that she would die. Well, a friend of my own come to see me one day, and he said, your wife is fast fading away. He afterwards told me that she would grow strong if I bought her some cod liver oil before long. So I bought her a bottle, it was just for the try, and the way that she drank it, you'd swear she was dry. I bought her another, it vanished the same, and now she's got cod liver oil on the brain. <laughs> It's caught in the morning and caught in the night. The house reeks of fish and my wife is a fright. If I had my way, I'd again have her ill. Who needs a woman that breathes through a gill? <laughs> and the house, it resembles a pharmacy shop. There's bottles on bottles with bottles on top. And sure, in the morn when the kittle doth boil, I swear it be whistling cat liver oil. <laughs> I'm a young married man that is tired in life. Nine years I was wed to a sickly wife. I do nothing all day now but sit home and sigh, wishing to the Lord that she would die. <laughs> You 
know, a lot of these old songs are very exciting, but every once in a while we get a new one. This is a song, a fairly new song, that is built upon the principle of the limerick, there was a young poet from Japan, his poetry never could scan. When asked about it, he said, I don't doubt it, because I always try to get as many syllables in the last line as I possibly can. Now, my old man's a sailor, I, what do you think of that? He wears a sailor's collar, he wears a sailor's hat, he wears a sailor's raincoat, he wears a sailor's shoes. And every Saturday evening, he reads the Sunday news. And someday, if I can, I'm going to be a sailor, the same as my old man. Now, my old man's an anthropologist, what do you think of that? He wears an anthropologist's collar, he wears an anthropologist's hat, wears an anthropologist's raincoat, anthropologist's shoes, and every Saturday evening, he reads the Sunday news. And someday, if I can, I'm going to be an anthropologist, the same as my old man. Now, my old man is a refrigerator repairman, what do you think of that? He wears refrigerator repairman's collar, he wears refrigerator repairman's hat. He wears refrigerator repairman's raincoat, he wears refrigerator repairman's shoes. And every Saturday evening, he reads the Sunday news. And Sunday, if I can, I'm going to be a refrigerator repairman the same as my old man. Now my old man is a cotton-picking, finger-licking chicken plucker, what do you think of that? He wears a cotton picking finger licking chicken plucker collar and a cotton picking finger licking chicken plucker hat. He wears a cotton picking finger licking chicken plucker raincoat, a cotton picking finger licking chicken plucker shoes. And every Saturday evening he reads the Sunday news. And Sunday, if I can, why I'm going to be a cotton picking finger licking chicken plucker, the same as my old man. Now my old man is an older decoder in the provision division of the Brazilian Pavilion of the New York World's Fair. What do you think of that? He wears an older decoder in the provision division of the Brazilian Pavilion of the New York World's Fair collar and an older decoder in the provision division of the Brazilian Pavilion of the New York World's Fair hat. He wears an older decoder in the provision division of the Brazilian Pavilion of the New York World's Fair raincoat and an older decoder in the provision division of the Brazilian Pavilion of the New York World's Fair shoes. Everybody. And every Sunday evening he reads the Sunday news and Sunday. The same as my old man. Hi. I thought you weren't coming back. I want you to take down that painting. Take down the painting? Please. But you said that Please you... Please take it down. I don't want you to get hurt. They're not going to hurt anyone. Oh, you're wrong. They think their hero's girlfriend posed nude for a lecherous dilettante. Lecherous dilettante? They think that you painted that picture. Me? That's crazy. You know I don't paint that well. Oh, I don't know. What makes you think that I'm that good a model? You thought I posed for it. Good night, Vicky. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Well? Gentlemen, we're closing. I said we're closing. All these pictures for sale? Yes, but we're closing. I'll take that one. Good night, sir. Hey, cats. Am I hard of hearing? Or did I hear the creep say all the pictures were for sale? How much? It's not for sale. He has a double saw buck. I said it's not for sale. It ain't worth nothing sliced. Hey, man, you want a pizza? Hey, what's going on here? Young man, young man, can you tell me, is this the coffee house? Mother! Hey, you! As 
as I walked down the street to the coffee house, the pizzas were flying all through the air. Air, air. <laughs> oh, that swim was delicious. You suppose those characters have had enough pizza? Have you, dear? Yeah. <laughs> hey, I've got a little bottle of wine that'll give you that extra glow. Hmm, sure. Vicky! Well, isn't this cozy? I told you it was only a guitar lesson. Oh, some guitar lesson? Oh, Why, you? Both of you. You still mean to tell me you didn't pose for him? Why, you narrow-minded, egotistical, self-centered, overgrown... Not that one, Vicky. It's too good a year. And what were you two doing out here? Posing for a Bridget Bardot movie? Why, you... I hope I never see either one of you again. Well, that tears it. Hello, Peggy. Hi. Is Jonathan here? No, no, Jed. I want to talk to you. Well, I don't wish to talk to you. Let me go. I want you to level with me. Let me go. You heard what the lady said. Now, you listen to me. I've had just about as much of this as I can take around here. I didn't paint that lousy painting, you understand? Okay. Okay. Where is the painting? Baby, who took the painting? I don't know, boss. Did you have anything to do with this? No. You, any of you guys? You, you, you? Mr. Peabody? Mr. Peabody! Well, Miss Cartwright, I don't exactly know how to tell you this, but your painting is gone. I'm afraid it's been stolen. Stolen? Your manager just called to tell me he sold it. And I'm here to collect my money and pay you your commission. My manager said he sold it? Yes! And I knew he would sell it from the very first moment I met him. He's very clever. <laughs> the mouse! Somebody paging me? Johnny? Huh? Here's your money, dear. And here's your cut. Believe me, it's been a pleasure. You mean you're actually giving me something? You deserve it. It's your commission. Thanks. Forgive me, girls. Can we have a little heart-to-heart, uh, -heart, Johnny boy? Why not? Excuse me. Of course. Johnny boy. I like you, and I want you to look upon me as your friend, your benefactor. Believe me, when, when I, I make you this proposition, there are absolutely no selfish motives behind it. <laughs> How would you like to sell the coffee house? Sell it? Yeah, what does a nice guy like you want with a crummy joint like this? Think you can get rid of it? I knew you'd feel that way, Johnny boy. That's why I took the liberty of disposing of it for you. You sold it? Oh, I found a real live one, Johnny. I sold her the painting and the coffee house. <laughs> you mean I'm not the only crazy kook around? This one was a pushover. <laughs> Who is it? Well, I didn't get her name. She's outside. Hello. Oh, there you are. Mother! Yes, Jonathan. Mother? Amanda Peabody. Well, why didn't you tell me who you were? You didn't ask me. Well, Johnny, I'm sorry. <laughs> Jonathan, it's a delightful little place. So ethnic. I fell in love with it instantly. And here's something I fell in love with instantly, Mother. I want you to meet Vicky. Oh, you must be that lovely girl in the painting. No. <laughs> Sorry to disappoint you. But, Miss Cartwright, who did pose for you? Oh, that sweet little girl who's always around here. I can't remember her name. Look what we found out on the sidewalk. There she is. Debbie? No, the other one. Corinne? Oh, Peggy. I'm sorry. <laughs> Mother Come here, dear. honey. Well, turn around now. Take off that iron curtain.
Fix your hair. There now. Wow, Corinne. You're a girl. Well, what did you think I was? Soft, fat, kooky boy. Well, why didn't you tell me you were hiding all this delicious femininity? Nobody ever asked me. Nobody ever tells anybody anything around here. Gonna take a tiny seed. Gonna take a tiny seed. Gonna take a tiny little seed of love. Gonna plant that seed of love inside of your heart. House was the first and only movie the Goldbriars filmed. This was before our instruments were amplified and we were still four members Kurt Betcher, Ron Nielsen, Kathy Weaver, and myself. This was the first thing the Goldbriars did after my sister Sherry left the group and Kurt's old singing partner Kathy Weaver took over for Sherry. Kathy was a natural harmonizer like Sherry and she did great. This movie was the only thing Kathy did with our group, as she missed her fiancé and went back to Wisconsin after the movie. Then Sherry decided to rejoin the group, having rested up. During this period of time, our group had decided to all go blonde. Even the guys were blonde for a short time. We were tired of being labeled the Beatles. But the guys looked too strange with blonde hair, so they dyed their hair back black. Kathy was a natural blonde and I found out the saying, blondes have more fun, was true for me during this time. The Goldbrars spent most of their time during the production learning many songs. In the end, three of the songs were used, the theme song, Honey Bunny, and a spiritual that Kurt sang the lead on with a group of others. Rehearsing in such a marathon mode put stress on my voice, causing me to have to go to the doctor. I found out I developed nodes on my throat and was told to rest my voice, which I did after the production. I remember Kurt and Ron helping many of the other instrumentalists with their musical arrangements. When our makeup was put on for the movie, close up we all looked like wild Indians. Kathy and I even had purple lipstick on. In one of the movie scenes we were in, I candidly said, I'll play the tambourine. And the director said, Great line, say that again. Of course, I couldn't repeat the same thing the same way, so the line was left out, and Kathy played the tambourine. I remember we Goldbriars visiting a very young Joan Rivers in her hotel room and having a fun time. Little did we know Joan would reach stardom someday. I enjoyed the beautiful, luxury Miami hotel they put us up in and sunbathing by the fancy pool. I felt like royalty. I never saw Once Upon a Coffee House until recently on DVD. I guess it's not that uncommon to not know the whole storyline and script when you are just a bit player. It was strange to hear my little girl high voice on the theme song verses. It was fun to see us perform Honey Bunny, being so young, 
and seeing myself as blonde and thinner. And Kurt did such a great job as lead vocal on the spiritual. When viewing the movie today, I enjoy looking back to the Sunshine 60s with such a delightful and comedic format as in Once Upon a Coffee House. Once Upon a Coffee House, the picture that will have you jumping in the aisles with 14 original songs sung by the Goldbriars, the Free Wheelers, Vince Martin, Joan Rivers, appearing with Jim, Jake, and Joan, Pedro Roman, and Oscar Brand. All this wrapped into 82 minutes of fun and excitement in breathtaking Eastman color. See what happens when a guy from Squaresville meets a pussycat from Coolsville. See the new dance craze, the turtle. It's the Go-Go musical. Once Upon a Coffee House, starting at this theater, April 29th. Think about going anywhere, let's double. Everybody do the double. Take it easy like a double. Oh, <laughs> 